Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on how to load, how to use Safe Exam Browser as a student. If you have problem with uh, launching Safe Exam Browser in your quizzes or tests, uh, this might be able to help you. So, uh, initially you have to, of course, log into IOLIS Personal. Let me just start from the start. After we log out, I log in here and then I go to iStudy. I enter iStudy and in one of my classes here, I created a safe exam test. As you see here, there's three options. There are three options, download safe exam browser, launch safe exam browser, and download configuration. You are watching this probably because you have challenges running it. So let me uh, go step by step how to properly install it according to how it works in my computer. It might help you. First, we download Safe Exam Browser and make sure you download your most current version. At the time of this, at the time of this recording, it's version 3.1 in Windows so I'm going to download this it might take uh, some time it's several seconds to download it says here I already download it uh, many times so uh, you can just download it and wait for it okay this is only 26 seconds so most uh, one instance of a person who have had a difficulty was that the student downloaded the uh, version 2.4 which is older so we just experimented in downloading the 3.1 in the student's computer and we were able to make it uh, work according to the report of the students student now it has finished downloading i'm going to click this one and it should install what happened mm, i don't know what happened but maybe okay it's here we have to after reading this you click this one i agree and install now it says safe exam browser do you want to install yes just answer yes so i can close actually this one from the back this one i can click back to get back to the exam and installation successfully completed now we can just click launch safe exam browser and it will try to overwrite the whole screen and i'm using a special recorder here because you cannot record the screen normally when safe exam browser uh, starts so when we click Safe Exam Launch Safe Exam Browser, you just click Send anyway and open a Safe Exam Browser, and then it will overwrite the whole desktop with its own uh, some kind of desktop, trying to ask you to log in again. This is a new browser instance, so you have to log in again. You have to read this and it's like you're in another computer and the other com the old computer has been locked down so you can only see this in this computer i try to go back into the into the it opens a nice study window i can maximize this or even if i don't i can just go to the test itself and it's here i can take the test and it's going to show me the test now okay so i'm now inside i can now take the test as you know i can just finish submit all submit all and i got perfect and finish review and that's the test. so i am able to 
to uh, submit the test. Now we can actually quit the safe exam browser and here we will see if we reload this that there are already four attempts. You see this is the most recent one. Some people want to click download configuration and it will uh, download to their computer an SEB file which if you click will supposed to open is supposed to open safe exam browser and then you can do the same thing log in let me just show you go to i study and go to the quiz and search subject and click the test and let's reattempt quiz let me try to maximize this yes god is love submit and finish okay so it's the same thing now we have five attempts inside the safe exam browser when we quit safe exam browser and get back to the uh, normal desktop when you refresh there are now five attempts if there are any uh, challenges that have not been taken care uh, by this uh, video please let me know in uh, by uh, contacting us in Facebook thank you or in email God bless keep safe and uh, good luck in your studies